Chapter 37 Drumlin's Due Date The town may have been looking forward to the 1st of August and the soccer match, but in our house, Luca had circled 14th of August in red on the calendar in the kitchen. It couldn't come soon enough for Annika. I am very ready to be out of this place, she said one day when Luca, Sam and I visited her in the hospital. I know, baby, I know, he said. I'm sure Drumlin feels the same way, and he stroked her belly, as though greeting him. If Drumlin's all healthy and nearly here, then why can't you come home for a bit before he arrives? Sam asked. Luca cleared his throat. Annika frowned down at her lap in the way that made my stomach flip. What? What is it? I asked. It's nothing. The doctors just want to keep an eye on things. I'm a little older having this baby and they want to make sure things are going according to plan. Annika explained. I wanted to say that nothing seemed to be going according to plan with Drumlin, but I didn't. And not just because someone interrupted us before I had the chance. We turned and saw a woman standing at the door holding two blue balloons in her hand. May I? She asked, gesturing to Nora's side of the room. The curtain was drawn and Annika told her to go ahead. When the lady pulled back the curtain, it wasn't Nora sitting in the bed, but a red-headed woman I'd never met. I took a step back and watched as the visiting lady swished the curtain closed again. What? Where, where's Nora? I asked. Annika said... But I thought... I shook my head. Are you okay, Freddo? Luca asked. I couldn't speak for a second. I was thinking about how scared Nora had been the first time I'd seen her, when she was the lady in the atrium, and then weeks ago when she'd cried while watching the TV. She was all alone and having a baby and all the way out there? 